and that's it it's a wrap on this introduction to microsoft excel course i do hope that you have learned a lot we covered things like workbook and worksheet management, including how to move and copy data from one workbook to another workbook, including how to protect your worksheets and your workbooks with passwords. We looked at how to find and replace data, including different methods of finding and replacing data, such as finding and replacing based on the format of the data, and also finding and replacing data using wildcards when we are not sure of the exact spellings of what we are looking for. We also saw how to copy and paste data using different kinds of formats. You can copy and paste data by pasting only the values. You can copy and paste data by pasting both the values and the formats. You can even paste only the format of the data without pasting the values itself. And also different, different methods of pasting data. Then we went on to look at how to sort and filter our data. We saw how to create data validation to enable uh, enforcement of rules for what people can type into cells. We also saw right there how to create drop-down lists to ensure that people are able to select from a list when they want to make some input in certain cells. We looked at cell formatting where we can control the display of how the values we are entering into a cell can be displayed. We also have seen how to write simple Excel formulas where we have used six Excel functions so far, including the sum function, the average function, mean, max, large, and small function. Once again, I really do hope that you've learned a lot and you have enjoyed the course. So please do make sure that you leave reviews for the course and also share this course with your friends and your colleagues to benefit from this offer. And in case you've forgotten my name, my name is Ahmed Oyelowo, and I hope to see you again in another course.